okay now let us understand a very important topic that is mapping of composite function so what do you mean by this that let's say there is a function from a to b which is f there is a function from g which is going from b to c that is the interconnection of this then what you can say about g of f which is the composite machine so something like this is happening this is a there is a relation from a to b set right a to b right there is a c set right c so this mapping is your the first mapping actually is your f the second mapping is g and this con whole mapping so if we talk about the whole mapping from here to here would be known as g of f mapping right so if we want to find a uh, relation when f and g is given and what we can talk about this let's see the first rule so set of rules that you have to actually remember are as follows so rules so first one okay the so first one says f f and g f f and g are 1 1 that is they are both 1 1 that implies so let me change the pen g of f will also be b 1 1 will also be 1 1 we are not saying anything else apart from 1 1 remember here okay please be very specific to the rules second okay if there is something and obviously g of f here would be then what it will be a to c right you are going from set a to set c remember g of f of g so if it is given that all the three exist and g of f is 1 1 now reverse is given g of f is 1 1 now this is important notice the change in first and second in first and second first says f and g are 1 1 second says g of f is 1 1 then it does not mean that both are 1 1 both are 1 1 both are 1 1 is actually a wrong statement this is wrong right we will prove this why wrong but let's first figure out what is the right statement so if this is wrong the right statement that you have to remember is only the first element that comes so in f of uh, g of f which is the first member that is coming f which is closer to x right f of this so fx is 1 1 that is surety fx is 1 1 whereas gx may or may not be 1 1 i cannot say anything about it this is what is meant by this right so if this happens then fx is 1 1 i cannot claim anything about gx okay so let me show you an example where f g of f is 1 1 but gx can be so i am showing you a case where g of f is 1 1 right but gx is many one this is quite quite possible let's see how let's say you have here two values uh, a1 a2 here you have b1 b2 b3 b4 okay uh, then you have here c1 c2 only two values now how i have mapped let's see so the mapping that i am doing is that a1 goes here a2 goes here right and i would say then b1 and b2 are again pointing at c1 and c2 right this is the mapping that i have done and let me take another element called c3 in this set right for this c3 what has happened now i took the mapping from g since g the b set has two elements remaining this is the mapping now understand this what has happened in this example so if you notice first of all let's talk about g of f how g of f is 1 1 so for g of f domain is domain is a1 a2 a1 is eventually mapped to c1 the range notice why because see I, I am going to highlight this a1 is here then it goes till here so this is the mapping right got it similarly by okay i'll choose this different color so that you guys can understand so here it goes here it goes here it goes here so eventually the mapping is c2 in this case so the range or the mapping is c2 
whereas in f g of f there is no talk about b3 and b4 so for g of f b3 and b4 are irrelevant they are irrelevant we will not talk about them right if they are irrelevant so just notice here what is happening a is 1 1 f is completely 1 1 why because again i will use the highlighters it go it has one value of x has one value of y whereas if you notice gx two values of x have same value of y that means this is many one and since it is many one that is what we were talking about that if f of g is 1 1 gx could be 1 1 could be many one at the same time if you remove b3 b4 and c3 then everyone will become let's say if i remove this okay if i remove this this is not here if you remove this then everything is one one right but it may or may be that is why i was saying it may or may be one one now let's take the second set of rules uh, and now we'll talk about onto mapping right let's talk about onto the first rule f and g are onto so this implies i would rather focus on implication right so that is much more important this implies let's focus on this that implies g of f is also on to this is sure okay whereas the second rule now you have g of f is on to you are given that g of x is on to what does this imply which is 100% true so this implies that which is the second function now the second function would be g here this implies that g is on to when i say g is on to that means this is surety that g is on to but i cannot say anything about f f may be on to when you say may be that means may or may not be right we cannot say it can be on to it can be into also let's see again with the help of example the second part so now let's again draw a relation let's see how we are going to draw that uh, particular uh, relations here so let's say a to b if a1 goes to 1 this goes to 1 and i now have a1 and a3 and a4 both being having images as b3 so if you say just this relation between uh, a to b which is nothing but f now here it is quite evident that f is not on to why it is not on to because b3 b4 element is lying as it is so codomain has b4 whereas range does not have b4 now let's talk forward for g right and i link this in a very simplistic way that this links here this links here this links here and this links here got it for g to be defined definitely you would want that uh, b4 should have an image b4 khali nahi ho sakta hai theek hai left to right mein left ki side khali kabhi nahi hona chahiye right ki side khali ho sakta hai right so these all arrows are pointing like this got it clear so they should not be uh, any given day empty the right side cannot be empty Oh, sorry left hand side because they are part of domain now if we talk about let's talk about g of f what is g of f so for a1 you have what what is happening let's see so what is the answer for a1 so for a1 you have a mapping going to c1 got it so you will say the answer to this one is c1 then the second you have mapping for a2 a2 is giving you answer c2 now you will say so the answer for a2 is nothing but c2 similarly you will say a3 a3 has a mapping which goes to c3 so a3 will give you answer c3 whereas similarly a4 okay let me remove first one okay a4 will go like this and then it will go like this so if you notice all the four elements are covered of domain first of all and all the three elements of core domain so here if you notice core domain is equal to range so g of f is basically on to whereas f is not on to let's just specifically talk about g g is this function g is completely on to can you notice 
g is completely onto this is what we guys are talking about that it may or may not be onto whereas if i just change the sign of a4 to this right do you understand this now it will become onto also so that is why we were saying it may or may not be onto we are not sure and obviously the last thing that we will then talk about is your bijectivity right so let's see rule for bijective mapping right so if you say f and g are bijective so what i can say this implies g of f is bijective for sure this is what i can say guaranteed right whereas the second rule if we talk about the reverse that g of f is bijective right it is given that it is bijective what do you mean so for this what we can say that uh, what do you mean by bijective let's imply implication we can understand that uh, it is 1 1 and on 2 we have covered both the conditions so if g of f is 1 1 what you would say that fx is 1 1 that's for sure and if it is on 2 we covered that gx is on 2 so this is what we can say that fx will be 1 1 and gx will be on 2 for sure but we have some cases where the others could also be true right let's see so let's just see a diagram how it is happening so let's say we say a1 is tied to b1 a2 b2 a3 and b4 so if you notice here what has happened to f mapping this was your f mapping right this is your f from here to here so for f we can easily see that it is 1 1 right because for every one value of x there is only one value of y but it is not on to can you see that it is not on to y because b5 is does not having a pre image now let's see what happens here in terms when we talk about the g function right for g what we did we did a1 goes here a1 goes here a1 goes here b4 goes here and since no element should be empty in domain so let's say we say b5 also uh, has a uh, your this particular stuff uh, that is c4 now here what happens to g for g we talk about g is not 1 1 right because two values of x have same answer that is c4 but it is completely on to that is what we are saying now let's check whether g of f is bijective or not so that means you want to check for 1 1 and then you will check for what on to so 1 1 a1 is the domain a1 is having value c1 approved a2 is having value c2 approved a3 is having value c3 approved a4 is having value c4 approved so one value of x has only one value of y so forget about b5 b5 has nothing to do a1 if you put answer answer will come out c1 if you put a3 answer will come out c3 a2 you will put c2 a1 c1 one one function if you see what happens for onto for onto you should have all the elements having their pre images that means codomain should have been equal to range which is happening so that means c4 c3 c2 c1 are ranges that why b uh, g of f is basically a bijective function right clear okay so this is how we sum all the rules that we have done these are the rules which you have to remember and apart from that if anything is asked please draw the set diagram and see to it whether you can find something which can uh, you know cancel that thing which is given to you which can negate what is being asked just do that do not remember or try to make much more formulas in fact they are in fact more than enough for you to remember at this point in time as well